So let us go over the derivatives of the six trigonometric functions. So we have the derivative of sine x is equal to cosine x. The derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. The derivative of tangent x is secant squared x. For cotangent of x, that would be negative cosecant squared x. For the derivative of secant x, we have secant x times tangent of x. And for the derivative of cosecant of x, we have negative cosecant of x times the cotangent of x. So let us try to answer some examples. Let's say we have the derivative of 2 sine x. So the constant multiple theorem, we can have this as 2, the derivative of sine x. And therefore, based from our previous formulas, we have 2, and then the derivative of sine x is cosine x. Another example, let's say we have 4 sine x minus 3 cosine x. So we can have this as 4, then the derivative of sine x minus 3, and then the derivative of cosine of x. So the derivative of sine x is cosine of x minus 3, and then the derivative of cosine of x is negative sine x. So simplifying, we have 4 cosine of x, negative 3 times negative sine x is positive 3 sine of x. Let's say we have the derivative of negative 2 cotangent of x plus 3 sine of x. So we can have this as negative 2 and then the derivative of cotangent of x plus 3 times the derivative of sine x. Now we have negative 2. The derivative of cotangent of x is negative cosecant of squared x plus 3. Derivative of sine x is cosine of x. So simplifying, negative 2 times the negative of cosecant squared x is positive 2 cosecant of squared x plus 3 cosine of x. For another example, this would be 5 and then the derivative of secant of x minus 7 and the derivative of cosine of x. So we have 5. The derivative of secant of x is secant of x times the tangent of x minus 7. Derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x. And then simplifying, we have 5. Secant of x, tangent of x, negative 7 times negative sine x would be positive 7 sine of x. For our last example, we can have this as 2 and then derivative of cotangent of x minus 5 and the derivative of cosecant of x. So we have 2 times the derivative of cotangent would be negative cosecant of squared x minus 5 and the derivative of cosecant x would be negative cosecant of x cotangent of x. So simplifying, we have 2 times the negative of cosecant squared x is negative 2 cosecant of squared x and negative 5 times the negative of cosecant x cotangent x would be positive 5 cosecant of x cotangent of x.